A lot of people think this philosophy is BS and I'm going to explain to you why it's not. Oftentimes the common expression, everything happens for a reason, is kind of looked at as something that's just like, oh, it's so annoying that you would say that, right? You know, oftentimes people use this phrase to comfort someone who's going through some type of difficult time. And a lot of times on the receiving end of that, it can feel very condescending and a little um, like non-empathetic. In simplest terms, it basically just means that there is a greater purpose or meaning behind everything that happens in our lives. And oftentimes we can't even see that reasoning until weeks, months, even years later. Okay, but if you start to adopt this philosophy, your life gets so much easier. One, you feel way more in control. Two, it's easier to get through those difficult times. And three, it starts to prove itself over and over again for you if you have that belief, if you adopt that belief. You know, it's a little bit of a paradox because some people that believe in this phrase think that it's because, hey, well, it's up to God, it's up to that higher power, and I can't see that, but he can, right? And on the other hand, other people see it as, well, I have these choices, and I have this free will, and so then I can decide how I'm going to respond to certain things, right? And then there's people like me who kind of believe in both. So let's talk about a few different examples, and if you have any questions and you know want deeper understanding on maybe some difficult time that you're going through, drop it in the comments below and I'd be happy to kind of work through that with you. Let's talk about illnesses, right? And overcoming illnesses, because this is something that is obviously very difficult for many people to deal with. And not only the person who is experiencing the illness, but also the people who love them and surround them and are taking care of them. When my grandfather was sick with cancer, he passed away about 13 years ago. He definitely adopted this philosophy, even if he never actually like said it, because a lot of times what this belief can make those who have an illness see is that it, it it gives them a new perspective on life or maybe embellishes an already positive belief on life. So for example, with my grandfather, he wasn't like, woe is me, I'm dying, right? Like I've, all of us were like freaking out and you know, it, he had it for years and like we didn't wanna see him go and he was progress progressively getting worse, you know? And we were all worried and you know, my mom asked him one day, like, dad, are you scared? And my grandfather responded and was like, scared of what? dying no like it's been one hell of a ride right so when you implement this belief right and this philosophy into your life it really allows you to seek out the positive of any negative situation right even if it's just a sliver right even if it's just a little bit of hope and when you compound that over time and when you experience ban that into all these different areas of your life, whether it's relationships or illnesses or family or money or whatever, it compounds and it snowballs and it makes you genuinely a happier person. You know, on top of that, you know, with the, with the illness example, people that can overcome that, maybe it changes the entire course of their lives where they maybe become advocates for that type of research or an inspiration to other people to keep going. Like think about like, you can probably think off the top of your head of someone that has overcome something and they've gone out there and they've inspired others, right? They've implemented change. They've taken action. They've helped heal others in so many different ways. So yes, they had to go through this illness, but they are changing people's lives because of it. Let's talk about love and relationships. So adopting this philosophy within relationships and including negative and abusive ones has been very helpful for my own personal journey. You know, think about the song by the Rascal Flats. What is that, what is that fucking song called? God bless the broken road. It's like, hey, every one of these steps and relationships, all these people that broke my heart, they were part of the path. They, they allowed me to grow and they allowed me to take this broken path to my North Star to get to you, like your ultimate person, right? Because a lot of times if we don't go through these negative experiences, we don't grow. Right, And so if we don't grow, then perhaps we wouldn't be ready for the relationship with the person that we are meant to be with or that complements us and that we are supposed to be with, right? Think about this, like erase all the relationships you had and all the things you learned from those relationships and tomorrow you meet the love of your life. 
you're probably not going to know how to handle it in a mature and have that emotional intelligence aspect to it, right? That you can bring into that relationship. So yes, maybe it was harmful, maybe it was hurtful and, and tough to go through these broken relationships and abusive relationships and have your heart broken over and over and over again, right? But if it leads you to these growth opportunities and leads you ultimately to your divine counterpart or the your soulmate or what, however you want to put it, right? The person that you end up with, isn't it worth it? You know, the last guy that I dated, it was a, a time span of a few years, right? And this person like just broke my heart so many times. And it was really hard to grasp when you were, when I was in the thick of it, when I was in the weeds, right? Like, I don't understand why this isn't working out, right? Because he was so afraid to move forward. And now being out of that and past that, I can look back like often that we can, we can't, that, and that's the power of believing that everything happens for a reason is you know, even if you don't know in that instant, you will know later on why this had to happen, right? And that person taught me so many things about myself and has given me the ability to set my own boundaries, has given me the ability to truly see like how much I'm worth. And on top of that, it reignited my relationship with God, right? So I can look at all of those things. I, I, I can look at one aspect of that and be like, I wasted, you know, years of my time, you know, this is bullshit. And I can look at it as like a very negative thing or I can look at all of these positives, all of these growths that I attained, that I obtained out of this connection, okay? And that's what this philosophy is all about. You know, and, and in conjunction with relationships, careers and jobs kind of go alongside that, right? Maybe you lose your job for whatever reason, you get fired, laid off, whatever, right? And you're freaking out and you're like, but you're, you're trusting the process, you're trusting that things will work out, you're trusting that everything happens for a reason, right? And then all of a sudden, two weeks later, a month later, this opportunity comes along that you wouldn't even have considered or given a second look if you hadn't lost that other job. And then you step into that role and it is so much more aligned, you are so much more fulfilled, you are so much happier, maybe you're making more money, whatever the case may be, that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't lost your job. And I'm speaking from a personal experience here. <laughs> you know, maybe you're a entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, and if you didn't have X, Y, and Z setbacks, and again, learned from those failures or mistakes or whatever, again, you wouldn't have been prepared to take on the magnitude of whatever your business is now, right? So you have to look at these, these what we perceive to be negative things and say, hmm, I can't see it now, but one day I'm going to see the positive in this situation. And when you can lean into that trust and understanding that it's happening for a positive reason, you don't dwell on it so much. It makes your life easier. It allows you to accept things better. It allows you to be more at peace more frequently. If you're liking this video so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe because I make videos like this every week to help you on your self growth and spiritual journey. So I know I only gave you guys a few examples, but have I convinced you to adopt the philosophy of everything happens for a reason? Because I will tell you what, I have lived with this philosophy my entire life. And the more I leaned into it as I got older, the easier and more peaceful my life became. And that's why I wanted to share this with you guys today, okay? Because I want you to live a happy life and, and feel that peace and feel at ease even when you're going through something difficult, okay? Part of this human experience is going through difficulties and, and challenges and, and things that are hard. But think about all of the things that you've gone through that have forced you to step out of your comfort zone, to grow, to evolve, to change for the better, right? But the choice is yours. When these things happen to you, how are you gonna look at it? 
Are you going to trust that it's for the better good of yourself and your life? Or are you going to play victim and dwell in that, oh, I can't believe this is happening to me. Why me? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Which do you think is the more peaceful path to take? And, you know, bringing in a little more of this uh, spirituality component to it, when you are thinking more positively, when you are, when you have less resistance, when you allow things to flow, you attract those things into your life, okay? When I was suddenly let go from my last job in the beginning of the year, out of nowhere, just because they couldn't afford me anymore, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And every time I started going down that like worry path, I stopped myself and you have to do this. I talk about it all the time, guys. Like you have to bring that awareness in, right? And I would, I would realize that I was thinking those things and I would stop and say, hey, I, I kept telling myself, something weird is going to come along unexpectedly. I'm gonna have a job within a few weeks. I don't need to worry about this. And guess what happened? Exactly that. So when things aren't going your way, just understand that there is a bigger purpose that you might not be able to see and reflect on ways that that has happened to you in the past, right? I'm sure everyone watching this video has gone through something negative or traumatic or hard that later on they were grateful for. And if that's happened to you, I would love to know what that experience was for you. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Mm -hmm.